Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show 10 solutions to fix apps crashing on your iPhone after the latest iOS update. So let's watch the video till you get a perfect solution. If an app on your iPhone stops responding, closes unexpectedly, won't open more crashes, there could be several reasons. Some common app crash causes are displayed on the screen. The first solution is to force close and reopen the application. If the app on your iPhone certainly gets closed when you try to open it, properly force close and reopen the app. If the problem remains, try the second solution. Check and free up storage. Launch the iPhone settings app, scroll down to general, then tap on iPhone storage. Take a look at your storage level. If your iPhone storage is running out, delete unused apps, videos, and doc files to free up the space. Still, if you have a problem with the app crashing, follow the third solution. Offload and reinstall the app. Launch the settings app on your iPhone, scroll down and tap on general. Then tap on iPhone storage. It shows all apps with storage size. Now scroll down and tap on the app that crashes when you try to open it. Tap on the offload app option. It will take a moment and again ask you to confirm the offload app option. Tap on it. That's it. When you offload the app, it removes all of the core app files from your iPhone and clears all of the existing cache and memory used by the app being offloaded. In other words, it will free up storage used by the app but keep its data and documents. Now, tap on the reinstall app option. Reinstalling the app will place your data back if the app is still available in the App Store. This solution solved my problem, but if you still face the app crashing issue, follow the fourth solution. Check for software updates and app updates. The problem may occur if you still need to update your iPhone. So first, you have to download the latest software update on your iPhone and then check for all app updates. So first, launch the settings app on your iPhone, scroll down and tap on general. Tap on software update. Make sure you have turn on all automatic install and download updates. That's it. After updating your software, ensure all your apps are up to date. If the apps have a pending update, it might cause a problem. To fix it, launch the App Store, tap on your profile icon, and scroll down the page. Now you will see how many apps you need to update. You can update your apps individually or tap on Update All to update all the apps. That's it. Launch the app and check out the problem. But if you still face the same problem, head to the Fix Solution. Background App Refresh. Launch the Settings app on your iPhone and scroll down to General. This time, scroll down to the General Settings page and tap on the Background App Refresh. Now turn off and on the toggle beside Apps. Then tap on the Background App Refresh option. Select Wi-Fi and Mobile Data. If it's already selected, select Turn Off and select Wi-Fi and Mobile Data option. That's it. Now check your problem and see if it remains the same. Then follow the sixth solution, Force Restart iPhone. If your iPhone screen is unresponsive and stuck, not responding to open the apps, even if it won't respond to power off, try to force restart your iPhone. So, in this procedure, we use three buttons, the volume up and down button, and the side power button. First, press and quickly release the volume up button. Then press and quickly release the volume down button. Now only press and hold the side button until the Apple logo appears. It will take around 5 to 7 seconds. Ensure you continue holding the side button until you see the Apple logo. A lot of people don't do that. Finally, release the side button and wait for your iPhone to see the lock screen. After force restart, make sure you have closed the app properly. Wait a second and reopen the app again. If the solution does not work, try the seventh solution. Reset network setting. To reset your network settings, launch the settings app on your iPhone and scroll down to the general section. Now scroll to transfer or reset iPhone on my iPhone screen. You can see two options, reset and erase all content and settings. Tap on the reset option. Now it will show different options for resetting. We have to go with reset network settings. Now tap reset network settings and it will ask you to enter your device's passcode. If you enabled the screen time passcode, enter it to move next. In the end, choose Reset Network Settings to confirm. Doing this will reset the Wi-Fi networks and passwords, cellular settings and VPN, and APN settings you have used before. 
Now, the eighth solution is to turn off the VPN. If your iPhone is connected to a VPN network, it might cause connection issues. It might not respond or open whenever you open the app. So, let's see how to turn off the VPN. There are two individual ways to turn off VPN. Launch the Settings app on your iPhone and turn off the toggle beside the VPN to disconnect the VPN network from your device. Or on the same settings page, scroll down and tap on General. To delete the VPN network, scroll down and tap on VPN and Device Management. Then, tap on VPN and tap the I button next to the VPN network. You will see the Delete VPN option. Tap on it and confirm the Delete option. Now I open the app, it works on my iPhone. Let's look at the 9th solution. Automatically set the date and time. To automatically set the date and time, launch the settings app on your iPhone and scroll down to general. Now scroll down and tap the date and time option and turn on the toggle beside the set automatically. That's it. If none of the above solutions fix the app crashing problem, then go through the last solution. Contact the app developer. Let's see how to contact the app developer. Launch the app store on your iPhone and tap on the profile icon at the top right corner. Then the purchased option. It will show all purchases. Go to my purchases option. Find the app that crashes. If not found, then tap not this device option. Then select the app that crashes. Now scroll down the page until you see the review section. Then tap on the app support option. It will redirect you to the developer's support page in the default web browser. Tap the i card in the top right corner to read the full article. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel to catch up and see more tips and tricks videos.